everybody, it's Kelly and I'm back with another layout. So today I'm scrapping some photos going back to last spring when Linus was um, becoming sick. He was having a hard time walking at this point. So I had him at the vet um, just to see what was going on. So that's where these are coming from. And he actually doesn't usually, didn't usually like the vet, but in this case he was pretty docile. So, um, I'm finally to a point where I can scrap some of these photos from the period that got really hard. I, um, and that's why you probably haven't seen some of these before. So, the blue stripe paper that I'm using as the photo mat is from the Doodlebug um, Petite Prints. And it's the, oh, and I wanted to say swimming pool, but I don't remember and I didn't write it down. So, anyway, but it's one of the Petite Prints lines. There, that paper that I'm going to put it on is like um, medical icons, you know, lots of like pill bottles and um, masks and um, syringes, lots of that kind of stuff. So that actually came from Reminisce. It's the ER collection and the see-through paper because the back is actually um, x-rays. So I didn't know what I was going to use and I, like I don't, fortunately nobody's broken anything. So I had had this paper and I really liked the way this kind of conveyed the idea without um, being so in your face. So I also added that 3x4 card from Ellie's studio. There was a collection quite a while ago about sickness and that's where this is coming from. And I did, um, I really liked how this, um, just kind of was a simple or it is, is a really simple layout and I have four photos there because that fourth photo is what happened when we got home. I did play around a little bit about where to place that fourth photo in the journaling card because um, it does weight it a bit to that left or right side. I'm going to figure that out eventually. So I, then I grabbed this chipboard um, and that and I'm going to do some icons in um, circles and rectangles. They say Sunday, and and I don't have what it is. It's just it's just um El, well I shouldn't say that it is Ellie Studio Days of the Week the chipboard stickers. Sorry, I meant I don't don't know when it was from um, for sure, but it's older, so I don't they don't have this anymore. But I haven't used many of these, and I thought oh. I, you know, here's a Sunday I need to actually add these in. And then that kind of gave me a basis for clustering, if that makes any sense. Well, I guess that makes sense, right? I was looking at um, some Bella Boulevard icons. I'm looking at, this is a collection of cat pieces here, kind of trying to figure out like a of um, ephemera die cuts here. So I'm kind of playing around. I want to add a cluster somewhere on the bottom to help weight back a little bit more to the left, to add some weight back a little bit more to the left of the um, that card. So it'll land a little bit more in the center. And I'm hoping if I spread some um, clusters, like I'm, so I'm doing this now where I have one at the top left and kind of in the middle, but if I have a few more clusters, it'll distribute that weight back a little bit again, because right now it's pretty heavy to the right side. So I want to do something with your eye to do that. That paw tag is from that collection. That's the um, Echo Park. I love my cat frames and tags. And then I'm working with some illustrated faith pieces here mostly to start like looking at some tabs and things like that. They're sticker sheets. So I'm going to add those in. That first one is really um, blank, but that came from the Illustrated Faith Remember It stickers. That's the name of that collection. So now I like the way that one's going, but I'm looking to see, is there anything else I can add in to get a third piece? And I found this little circle there from that Remember It sheet, or sorry, no, it's not. It's still um, Illustrated Faith, but it's the Label It collection there. And it says Walk by Faith. And, you know, at this point, Linus 
was definitely getting older. He had lost quite a bit of weight. Um, so, you know, I was very concerned, but trying to walk in faith that what was going to happen was going to happen here. That label then is from um, the Label It collection again. Oh, and I just found, I just found my um, Petit Prince on, for the matte paper for the photos is the swimming pool dot stripe. I don't know why I couldn't remember that. I've used it a thousand times, but I wrote it on here just really low. <laughs> so that happens sometimes when I'm writing collections. All right. So now I want something else. And I loved this boy so much um, as, you know, our furry family members, we do. So I decided to add some hearts to this just because I was so concerned for him. These are really old. They're, these enamel hearts are from the Felicity Jane Kate collection, the epoxy hearts. And obviously Felicity da Jane, I shouldn't say obviously, but if you've been around for a while, you know Felicity Jane is no longer making products. And that's too bad. They were so lovely. Um, at the very end, you'll see I did add some twine into that uh, tag there. And that's from We Are Memory Keepers, the Slow So Easy Floss, which again is also old. All right, here's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you guys are all well, and I will be back with another layout soon. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.